Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Wondershare, PDF Element Pro. PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF editor, from which you can get powerful features to edit, review, protect, compare, sign and convert PDF. PDF Element has been designed with simplicity in mind, to offer affordable PDF solutions, that makes it easy for users to create, edit, convert, annotate, and sign office documents. With PDF Element, the user receives full control over his PDF files, and gets to adjust anything, from fonts to styles, without affecting the original formatting of the document. While using PDF Element, you can convert different file types to PDF format. And its powerful PDF optimization feature, helps in compressing your PDF. So you can share it quickly and easily. Visit the link in the description, and get 50% off on PDF Element. In case, you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this free template, from the link in the description. So, let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Tunnel Logo Intro. As always, I am using the 1920, by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. And my duration is 10 seconds. You are free to choose your own settings. Now import your logo into the project, and then place it onto the timeline. Because we are going to use the camera, so we don't have to adjust the scale value of it. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo comp. Click on move all attributes into the new composition, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets. And search for the Vegas effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the segment value to 1. And then change the blend mode to the transparent. And also, I am going to use the white color for it. You are free to choose any color you want. This is how it will look now. Let's change the width value to 5, to make the stroke thicker. Cool. Now we are going to add some animation to it. Go to around 7 second position. And then add a keyframe on the length, and the rotation. Let's check this random phase option as well. Now go to the first frame. And change the length value to 0. And also, change the rotation value to 90 degrees. Cool. Fit the frame 100%. And here we have this nice looking animation. Now press U, to open keyframes. Select all keyframes, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, select the end keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Do the same for the first keyframes as well. 
In case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it looks now. Much better. Now we are moving to the next step. Let's minimize this layer first, to get some room. Select the logo layer, and now we are going to make it 3D. In case this switch tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key, is no longer interested in working with you, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose switches, modes, as well as parent. Because we are going to need them. Now change the mode to the screen, and then click on this 3D cube icon, to make the layer 3D. Now press P, to open position. As you can see, we have these three position values. The first one is X, the second one is Y, and the third one is the Z position. We need to separate them, so that we can control each of them. So right click on the position, and choose separate dimensions. It will separate them. Now we are going to add an expression on the Z position. Press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and then click on this stopwatch icon. It will allow you to add an expression on it. In this expression box, type, square bracket, index, star, 2000, square bracket close. Click anywhere on the screen, to eject from the expression box. Let's see what this expression is going to do here. But first, make a duplicate of this layer. By pressing CTRL, or COMMAND plus D. As you can see, the Z position value has been changed by 4000. We are going to make a round 12 duplicate of this layer, and this expression will automatically change each layer's Z position, by 2000 pixels. Let's minimize both layers, to get some room and then make around 12 copies of it. Each layer will be placed, at exact 2000 pixels distance from the last layer. That will create the tunnel. Cool. Let's make the timeline bigger, to get some room. Now create a new camera. I am going with 35mm preset. And depth of field is enabled. For controlling this camera, we need to make a null object because the camera can be tricky sometimes. So create a new null object. I am calling it camera control. Make sure to make it 3D. Select the camera layer. Grab this pick whip, and place it onto the camera control. This camera is now connected with this camera control. Now go to the 7th second position. Select the camera control, and open position. Now add a keyframe on it. Change the Z value to a large number, this is the position, where I want the tunnel logo to be finished. So I am choosing a point, where I can see my logo in a good size. Now we are going to add another keyframe on the first frame. But as you can see, I cannot see anything in the first frame. So let's go to the 5 second position, and we will place this keyframe later. Now change the Z position value, to a higher number. So that you can pass through between all the logos. Now grab this keyframe, and place it onto the first frame position. This is how it looks now. Now, make sure you are at the first frame, and then open rotation. And then add a keyframe on the Z rotation. Let's press U to open keyframes, and place this keyframe on the 7th second position. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then change the Z rotation value to 90 degrees. Now select all keyframes, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Again, I am making the in, and out smoother. Cool. Switch back to the main timeline, and now select the top logo comp. I am calling it logo reveal. This layer is going to be used as revealing the logo, so we don't need the Vegas effect. Let's hide it, 
And this is how it is going to look now. Cool. Let's fade out the bottom layers. Go to around 4 second position, select all logo comp layers. And then press T, to open opacity. Let's find a position where we would like to add the first keyframe. I think it will be fine. Here, add a keyframe on it. Now go to around 5 second position. And change the opacity value to 0. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Ram preview this, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's select all layers, and minimize them. Now the last step. Create a new solid layer. I am calling it the background. And using white color for it. Make sure to place it on below of all layers, and then right click on it, and choose pre-compose. Move all attributes into the new composition, and I am calling it the background. Now open this background composition, then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the CC ball action. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the scatter value to 1000. And then change the ball size value to 10. This is how it looks now. Let's go to the first frame position. And create a new camera. I am using the same 35mm preset. And then hit OK. Now open position of the camera layer, and by changing the Z position value, we can create the star background. Let's change the Z position value to 0. And then add a keyframe on it. Now go to the 7 second position. And change the Z position value to around negative 2000 pixels and it will create this zoom out effect. Now select all keyframes, right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and now we have completed the tunnel logo effect. You may be wondering, why I have added a new camera, inside this background comp. This is because, the CC ball action, reacts as the 3D layer. And it will start reacting with the camera, of our main composition. And the value may go beyond the limit of the CC ball action. This is why we are animating it in a separate composition. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.